Copying the data in Excel is very easy because you really can't do it wrong. You just select the range to copy and press Ctrl C. But there are actually multiple ways to paste the data. That's the reason why so many beginners mess up their spreadsheets without knowing what actually happened. I will show you the most important pasting options to keep your spreadsheets clean and tidy. Excel offers three techniques for copy-paste operations. 1. Right-clicking the area. 2. The buttons in the home tab of the ribbon. And 3. The shortcut combinations Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V. You can use whichever option you feel most comfortable with. I start with the Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V shortcuts. This is the default operation. It pastes the cell formatting, values and formulas as they were. Nothing special here. After the pasting, I hit the escape key to exit the copy mode. By the way, if you see me moving from a sheet to another without clicking its name from the bottom left, it's because I use Ctrl Page Up and Ctrl Page Down shortcut combinations for this. Normally, when you copy and paste data, it doesn't matter what size the selected area is when you do the pasting. The data will always be pasted according to the top left cell of the selection. For example, like this. But there's an exception. Now I select a paste area whose dimensions are multiples of the copy area. In this case, three times the width and two times the height. When I paste the data, it has been replicated required times to fill the area. Sometimes you want to paste only the visible values of the cells and not the underlying formulas. For example, in this case the rand function generates a new random value between 0 and 1 every time I do any modifications. You can paste only the values by copying the area as always, right clicking the top left cell of the paste area and from the menu you can select Paste Values. Now the RAND formulas have turned into constant numeric values. To demonstrate the Paste Formulas option, we have two tables that have constant values and cell formattings. The tables also have different functions in the total row. Average and Sum. The Paste Formulas will paste the values and formulas as they were but doesn't affect the cell formattings. Let's try to move the values and formulas from the first table to the layout of the second table. Copy the data from the first table, select the top left cell of the paste area, and choose Paste Formulas. The layout stayed untouched, but you can see that the function in the total row changed from sum to average. All the constant values got replaced as well. Paste formattings does the exact opposite. Instead of moving formulas and values, now you are bringing the layout to them. Let's try this by copying the area of the second table. Choose the paste formattings option. You can see that only thing that changed was the cell formattings of the first table. Someone has been silly and added the scores of top 5 movies in the Internet Movie Database observations in a horizontal direction. We want to change that and make the table grow vertically. This can be achieved very easily. Copy the area, select the cell to paste and select Transpose. If you would need two similar tables, you could use the Paste Links feature. This way you have the duplicated data always up to date in both tables. Copy the data and select Paste Links option. As you can see, Excel didn't paste the actual values but rather generated cell references to the copied area. This method is both awesome and useful. Select the area to copy and paste it as a picture. You can also paste images to and from other applications than Excel. There are also some other pasting options when you click the Paste as Special text from the menu. For the grand finale of this lesson, I will show you a little trick that is sometimes very handy.
If you would like to increase the rating of each movie by one, you normally should write some formulas and do multiple copy and paste operations. You can do it also by typing number one to any cell and then copying it. Now select the scores, go to Paste Special menu and select Add. Often this method saves your time.